create a new hair color option for the player character. First, we're going to create an empty mod. So we'll hit create mod, empty mod, and we'll call this mod additional hair color and create mod. Once that mod's created, we're going to go to the character creator. To access that, we're going to click this view options button in the bottom right corner and select show plugin content. Then we'll select this folder and we'll scroll down to customizable character content. And then we'll double click on this character creator level. Once that level loads, we'll select the play button up at the top to enter the character creator. Next, we'll switch the editor mode to avatar preset. So editor mode up at the top left and avatar presets. This will bring up all the options for the witch and wizard avatar. Important thing to remember about the character creator is that the male and female presets are separate. So if you create a new hair color for the male avatar, then you're gonna need to switch to the female avatar and make that same color option again. To create a new hair color option for the male avatar, we're going to scroll down until we find the hair color option. Once we find that hair color option, we're going to hit this plus button next to it to create a new entry. We're going to name this wizards forge mods underscore hair color underscore 01, and we're going to call it underscore M for the male character. After that's selected, the creator kit will automatically add a couple assets to your mods folder. It'll add this DT underscore add avatar preset piece definition, which is going to be the new preset piece you just made, so the male avatar hair color. Then it's also going to add a BP underscore mod mutator, which is going to add that preset to the game. We'll go over these in more detail in the longer tutorial version. Now for the pun part, we get to design our hair color. So we're going to make sure our new hair color is selected. So Wizards Forge Mod Hair Color 01M, and we're going to select the settings button by the hair. Once that's loaded, click on any of these color options and move it around until you find a color that you like. So I'm going to keep it easy. I'm going to do black with some highlights. Once you find something you like, exit out of this, and you're going to want to make sure you press that save preset button, or else it'll disappear when you exit out of the create character creator. Once that's created, we're going to switch to the female version and do the same thing. So we'll click this gender button up at the top and select female. Then we'll go to hair color, hit the new preset option. We'll call this wizards forge mods underscore hair color underscore 01 underscore F. Then we'll press OK and it'll automatically add it to that data table that was mentioned earlier. Then we'll select the settings button by hair and change these to the values we had for the male preset. So we'll go black, black, and then I copied the hex code that I will just paste down here for the red. Then we'll hit OK and then we'll exit out of here. And we'll make sure we hit that save button so these changes don't get deleted when we exit the character creator. Perfect. And now you've completed your first hair color option. So if you hit the F11 key, open the data table, you'll see you have two entries for the male and female hair color with the hair color that we just made. Now you can repeat this step as many times as you'd like to create as many different hair options as you want. Just make sure they don't share the same name. So the next one go 0, 02, then 3, 4, 5, and continue until you're done. Now, all that's left to do is to test our mod and make sure it's working as intended. So for this test, I access the root level to get to the character creator. And for the first test, I'm going to grab the male avatar preset, go over to hair, and it'll automatically, by default, add the hair color to the very end. So if we scroll to the end option, we'll see the new hair color we just made. And then we'll go and we'll click a female preset. And do the same thing. And there you go. This method will add it to both the character creator and Madam Snelling's hair shop in Hogsmeade. All that's left to do is upload our mod. So we're going to select this upload mod button to bring up the mod upload window. Under select mod, make sure your mod is selected. 
and then we're going to give it our mod name. This is going to be how the mod appears in game. So you're going to want to make sure it's unique and no other mod shares the same name or else it won't upload. So I'm going to call this WFM for Wizards Forge mods and additional hair color. Then we're going to add an image, make sure it's at least 400 by 400 pixels and is a square under 5 megabytes. Then we'll add a category, I'm going to call this visual and mod summary, I'm going to say add additional hair color. And then in the mod description, we just want to add something that's longer than the mod summary. So I'll say add additional hair color to the male and female avatar. This mod can be found in both the character creator and Hogsmeade. Once that's selected, you're going to hit upload button to upload your mod. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe and let me know what other tutorial videos y'all would like to see. Looking forward to see what y'all create and Wizards Forge Mods out.